Unfortunately, day three of the 2024 Farnborough Air Show sees not much going on, so I thought I'd take a look at some other developments that have occurred throughout the week thus far. Boom Supersonic has used this edition to present updates about its business. The associated updates align with the company's ambition to build the world's fastest airliner in Overture and bring back the age of supersonic travel. Despite several announcements involving the flight deck and engines, there were no updates regarding the time frame for true progression of this said Overture. Boom Supersonic hoped to see the Overture enter service by the end of this decade. However, this will most likely not be possible based solely on recent announcements and time frames for other key elements. So, what happened? Well, as part of the announcement, Boom revealed an all-new flight deck, reinventing what it means to be inside an aircraft cockpit. The Overture flight deck builds on what has been proven and successful across aircraft over recent history, while also incorporating next-gen technology. Boom Supersonic says the features are based on studies from airlines, businesses, and military pilots who contributed to the project to create the best possible flight deck experience. Some features include large 17-inch touchscreens, eliminating the buttons that span right across legacy cockpits. Boom also highlights that every Overture function will be accessible through software. This element has raised concerns about relying solely on technology and software for things that are so critical. Boom says this will be secure. In fact, while the software will be home to many functions, there will be physical controls for the more safety-prone features, such as the stick, throttle, and landing gear. Overture will continue, and this is an important thing worth considering in my opinion, to receive new features through the described over-the-air upgrades to improve the experience continuously. Think of it as a software update, just like you would move from iOS 17 to iOS 18, and airlines will be able to control how upgrades are rolled out. The flight deck will also have advanced augmented reality vision systems that will be implemented for takeoff and landing. The crucial element of the aircraft eliminates the need for the drooping nose that we saw and was iconic to Concorde. Pilots thus will be able to land safely using either the auto land feature or augmented reality view provided on a head worn device and the primary flight display units. There was also some developments surrounding the engine, known as Symphony. The engine slated to power Overture has continued advancing hardware testing, with the engine core to be operational in 18 months. Boom had previously revealed that it was building a rig to test Symphony hardware, with a full-scale test and combustor aerodynamics on offer. The company says it believes in rapidly developing approaches and implementing strategies to get endeavors off the ground as it works towards achieving its full objectives. The accelerated development of the full-scale engine core will be operational in late 2025, with from there important data to be gathered to refine the overall engineering and production of the full-scale engine, and then obviously we'll see them work towards obtaining certification, which will be a lengthy task. In saying all that, there weren't many updates surrounding how Overture is tracking with regards to a time frame. Obviously, Boom Supersonic has been quite ambitious previously with its target dates. Those will likely now not be attained, but in the last few years, it has made some pretty big strides with regards to construction of the Super Factory, the XB1 demonstrator finally getting off the ground, the development of the engine, the reveal of the flight deck, and other important partnerships. That being said, it still faces a lot of adversity, and there are many people that will continue to critique it long into the future. Will it get in the air? That's a question I'd love to hear you discuss down below in the comments. Do you believe they'll run out of money first? Do you see the plane being built but never actually being a true success? Are there going to be certification troubles? Stay tuned. Like I said, there won't be too much with news regarding aircraft orders. It does seem we've exhausted the majority of those as others simply couldn't get sorted in time. Then still stay tuned. There's more to come. And we'll fly.